A huge thank you to everyone for contributing to our festival and partnerships. It's been fantastic to see so many brilliant examples of partnering across all our member charities. It's been informative, it's been insightful, it's above all been really inspiring. And because we've been doing this festival over the last few months, it's given us the opportunity to really delve into more details about partnering. Why partnerships are important, what charities get out of partnering, how to partner, looking at different kinds of partnerships, whether it's with industry or government or NIHR or charities partnering with other charities. And we've also had lots of opportunity to really think about what works well, what doesn't work so well and share learning across our members. So thank you all very much indeed for sharing all your examples of partnering. The festival might be over, but it's absolutely not the end of collaborating and we look forward to working with you all in future to keep collaborating together. So I think medical research charities really have the urgency of, of patients at their heart. They're driven by that and they've got a great understanding of the priorities of patients and their carers. So for many AMRC members, they're actually embedded within the communities that they're looking to serve. So they've got a really rich understanding of what really matters to patients which isn't always the same as what researchers think uh, should, should matter to patients. Um, I think also um, the public trust charities, we've got great convening power. So I think all those things are super important. Um, but there is a but, and it's quite an important but. I think sometimes the scientific expertise uh, and thought leadership that charities can bring to a partnership is not necessarily recognised. And similarly, the funding that they can bring, and sometimes that's really significant funding. So I think there's, there's lots of different aspects to uh, why working with charities can be really beneficial. I think the main reason is because they have patients and they can bring the patients into the equation. So that's, I think, a really key, a key thing. But I think also, Lots of charities can be very flexible, we can be quite quick moving um, and, and accommodating as a sector. We tend to be friendly and uh, um, we, want, we, want, we bring the passion to it and wanting to succeed. We love working with charities. They, they share our passion um, for research and particularly research in the, um, in the medical areas. One of the things as well that we've noticed about working with um, member charities of, of AMRC, and particularly some of the smaller ones, is that there is a lack of bureaucracy. Very importantly, it is the proximity to the patient voice that, that is, I think, the most impactful. Engaging with them, the, the charities, that is, early allows partners to access some of the key thought leaders in the field and, and potentially also early access to a pipeline of exciting new opportunities for further development. And I think the other important aspect is it opens up the possibility of leveraging greater investment in areas that are inherently of higher risk and more importantly building of mutual trust and an ecosystem of collaborations and partnerships in a particular area where it has been historically difficult to actually engage in and develop. For us, I mean, so people with bowel diseases, bowel cancer obviously is the second biggest killer um, of all cancers and Crohn's disease and obstetric colitis are incurable. A lot of other bowel conditions are Cinderella topics, if you like, they don't get much talk, they don't get talked about much, they don't get much funding. So by partnering with an, an organisation like ourselves, we kind of shed light on these problems, improve people's lives, give people hope. Charities have that connection to a condition or to a group of people that is very personal. So we know intimately how these conditions affect people's lives. And if you're wanting to make a change, a positive change for someone's life, that deep understanding that I think can only come from the charity sector is what you really gain from working with a charity.